Traders, today we are talking all about the indicator called PVT or price volume trend. Now, you can see this indicator right here on the chart and price volume trend essentially shows you the percentage change in price multiplied by volume with the previous calculation being factored into that. And so what you can get a sense of is not only is something say trending downward or not only is something trending upward, but if volume is also increasing in that upward move as well. So it's a rather interesting way to try to see if the trend is supported by some sense of large amounts of volume or small amounts of volume. You can still have a upward price trend, but perhaps smaller bits of volume, but it just wouldn't be as pronounced on the PVT indicator, allowing you to really identify and zone in on areas where volume and price are moving in tandem. So let me actually go ahead and delete this indicator off the chart and start from the top here about how you can access this indicator and see it directly on your chart. First of all, go up to indicators, metrics, and strategies and click. And then you can go to technicals. This is a classical indicator. So you can just click indicators. This indicator menu on TradingView, which you have access to right now, is in alphabetical order. So if we scroll down, here we go. Here's P, price volume trend. We can click and it will be added to our chart. We can also just search PVT. Here it is. Or we can even type out price volume trend just like this and here it is as well now i'm going to click and the indicator is added to my chart instantly you can see it down here in a separate panel now this is really wonderful because as a separate panel you can adjust the panel to fit your exact needs and of course if you really want to you can click and drag the price volume trend hold your mouse down hold your mouse down release let go of your mouse onto the price chart itself of course you now have two price scales so you have the PVT scale here with the indicator values and the actual price of the symbol you're looking at. So you're surely going to want to right click on these scales, you know, really make sure that you have them set up to your liking. And you can, of course, can take advantage of some of the key features, percent, index to 100, merge the scales all into one. All that good information is available to you with a very simple right click. But for now, actually, what I'm going to do is bring the PVT indicator back down to its separate panel and remind you of another important feature, which is that if you click on the settings wheel here, you unlock the settings menu, which you can customize to your needs. Now I'm going to go through the settings menu shortly. For now, I'm just going to change this to an all white indicator and a very thick line. And the reason for that is I just want you, the viewer, to see this line front and center and really just not take your eyes off it. Now I'm doing this on American Express. It's an equity, but this will work on all asset classes that have both price and volume. So if I do BTC USD, well, you guessed it, it has price and it also has volume. So we've got it here as well. We could also, of course, do a Forex pair, if we wished, we do Euro USD, and just like that, we have PVT because there's price and volume. Now, what I'm going to do for the remainder of this video is actually just head over to a chart of Microsoft. I think by now everyone's familiar with Microsoft, so let's just get this Microsoft chart up front and center, and let's go look at the exact calculation of the PVT indicator. Now, I'm going to show that to you on the screen so that you know exactly what is being calculated. So as you can see in the calculation, as mentioned, you're getting this percentage change in price multiplied by, by volume with the previous days or session or time interval value being added to that. So here's PVT. You can see here current close minus previous close divided by previous close. So just like that, you're getting a price volume trend. So you're, you're getting a percentage change of the symbol you're looking at, and then you're multiplying it by volume, and then you're adding the previous day's PVT to that. So this exact calculation from the previous day is then being added into the current day. Now I'm saying day, but that's because I'm on a daily chart. But if I was on a one minute chart, you could look at PVT from that time interval. So the choice is really ultimately yours. But the key thing here is you are multiplying it by volume. And 
you're also adding the previous day's value, which means you're getting this rolling number. So you can start to sense the trend now, right? If you start to add the previous day PBT and there's an upward trend going or there's more volume going, you're naturally going to see that trend up or down depending on you know how powerful that previous day's value was. But of course, you're also multiplying it by volume. So very important, this indicator is called price volume trend. And this is one of the key things. It's multiplied by volume. So volume is going to play a critical role in the calculation of this indicator. You can imagine here, let's just say you got your current close minus previous close divided by previous close, you know, it spits out a value. Then imagine mul multiplying that by a volume of 10. Now imagine multiplying that by a volume of 10 million. So you really can see how that plays a factor now and why it's so important to be aware of this specific calculation that's being multiplied by volume. Now I'm going to go here to this chart of Microsoft, and we're just going to look at a, you know, an, an example here in real time. Now, what's so interesting about price volume trend, and I have some drawings here that I'm actually going to delete. This is from a prior educational video. And please do remember, we have over several hundred videos on our YouTube channel walking you through every single indicator and feature. And of course, our help center has tons of information as well. So go utilize those for any questions that you may have about indicators uh, you know, even after watching this video. So as you can see here, the price volume trend is rather interesting because if you look closely, the price of the symbol was trending down. Let's actually take it from this point and let's go to this. Let's go to here, actually. So we had this downtrend in Microsoft. And if we align that perfectly with the price volume trend indicator, well, you guessed it. We also had a downtrend in price in the price volume trend indicator as well. But what's so interesting about this indicator is you can now see how volume plays a key role. So for example, I want you to really look closely at this move on the chart of Microsoft. So it really tanked here, spiked up, and then tanked again, and it almost tested the previous day's lows, right? So you can see it was not far off. In fact, if we just measure from the low here to whatever this low was, it's about a 3% difference. So from this price level right here to this very low, it's about a 3% difference. So that's interesting. You know, it, it the, there, was a, there was a pretty long, prolonged drop in Microsoft all the way until it really tanked here, it recovered, then it really tanked again. But what's interesting about this is you can see the price volume trend recovered a lot quicker than the actual price of Microsoft. And that's most likely due to the fact that volume was just enormous during this event. And so that volume was being added into price volume trend, and it just create, it created a fundamental different calculation of the sequence of events that was unfolding. So for example, if we look here and we go down, this is only a 0.5% difference. So remember, this is a 3% difference in price right here. So from this very from this previous low to this low 4%, this is only a 0.5% difference. So what you're getting here is you're getting the price volume trend showing you that potentially something interesting is happening simply because of the immense turnover here of volume and the calculation that we demonstrated to you. So you can also see now here's the price volume trend calculation over here on the indicator scale. And also what's rather interesting is you see the price volume trend spike higher. Of course, price spiked higher too, but look at the enormous volume spike here. So you can see that reflected directly into price volume trend. Now, if we go to another symbol, you can also see this as sort of a, uh, uh, well, Apple has a very similar chart actually with what looks to be like a similar example, but I want to show price volume trend now, not on the most recent price action, but actually give a walkthrough of an up move. So an up move is rather interesting for this specific indicator. And that's because after all, you want to try to see a trend. So let's look at the up move and also some of the sideways action. 
Now, as you can see here, price volume trend, the price did spike higher here, this earnings report, and you can see that reflected in the price volume trend as well. So arguably the price volume trend, you could say was confirming the move here, right? It was price and volume were moving almost in lockstep. If we go, let's see, starting point, yep, almost in lockstep with the price action of the symbol itself. But, but check this out. This is where this indicator is just fascinating. Now, I'm going to draw a horizontal line here across price volume trend. And I want you to notice here that from July of 2024, all the way until December 2024, price volume trend never made a new high. Nope, never once made a new high. But pay close attention. Apple, the share price itself, made a new high right here on December 2024, despite the fact that price volume trend did not. So what are we seeing here? Well, some might say there's not a confirmation of the move, but really if you look into the calculation of the indicator itself, what you see is that volume was just simply not getting to a point to where it could confirm new highs. In fact, if we look at the volume leading up to this high, so we look at this all this volume here, you can just see how low it is. It's just not that strong or massive. Whereas if we look back here to this high, look at the volume bars. They're just already larger, they're higher. You can draw a line across the chart. It's just simply more volume here very little volume over here. Let's see if I can delete this line. I'm going to hide the dividends icon and the earnings icon. And you can see, so this white line I drew is meant to demonstrate sort of the average here of all this volume. Look at this. None of these bars ever, look at all this, the, black, the dark space here. None of these bars really ever got above that average. They were always below it. And so that sort of forced the price volume trend to not confirm this breakout. There just wasn't enough trend. Yes, you may have had the trend in price, but you didn't really have the trend in volume. And this is why this indicator can be utilized and how you can think about it. Of course, there are multiple ways to utilize this indicator. These are just a few examples. And if you open up the settings menu, you've got some great tools here. For example, you can change the time frame of the calculation, allowing you to do multiple time frame analysis. So I can change the price volume trend calculation to be calculated over one week. So one week at a time. So if you look here, these each interval here or each you know price point on the indicator is effectively being calculated from week to week, but the chart is a daily chart. So I'm looking at a weekly price volume trend, but I have a daily chart. They call that multiple time frame analysis because you have two different time frames being displayed to you right on one screen. Now, if you go to style, I already walked you through this. This gives you the ability to customize the line to any color or visual of your choice. You could even change it to be something like a histogram. And for those looking for trends, it's kind of a nice way to see a trend. In fact, you can even look into this down move and being calculated on a weekly time frame. Price volume trend still has not fully confirmed that Apple is out of the woods just yet. But of course, you also have to keep in mind that naturally, as Apple gets larger and larger, there's going to be slightly more, um, you know, uh, traded shares, then, you know, there's a lot more traded shares, say, last earnings report, than its earnings report from five or 10 years ago, Apple's been buying back stock. So it's also important to keep those details in mind. But also, lastly, on the setting side of things, you can customize its visibility, whether you want to see this indicator on certain time intervals or not. So that is the price volume trend indicator. We hope that this video gave you the demonstration you needed to understand this tool. Be sure to leave any questions or comments and check out all of the other indicator videos that we have created on our YouTube channel and in our help center.